Washington, D.C., this is On the Hill. Doug Christian reporting. This week's memorial services eulogizing Senator John McCain provide a model and demonstration of statesmanship and ceremony. Whereas the tributes are ostensibly to memorialize the man, they also provide a vivid display of competing political alliances. On one hand, we witness a political neophyte in President Donald Trump flailing as he shows his disdain for Senator McCain by raising the White House flag to full staff, incites outrage, and then reluctantly lowers the flag once again. On the other hand, we see the seasoned late senator successfully getting in his last laugh as he snipes at the president from the grave. Senator McCain asks that President Trump not attend his funeral. Then he invites the dissident Vladimir Kurmaza, an outspoken critic of Russian President Vladimir Putin, and by extension President Trump, to be a pallbearer at his funeral at National Cathedral on Saturday. Additionally, he invites President Trump's presidential nemesis, former presidents George W. Bush and Barack Obama, to give eulogies at his funeral. And in a final dig to President Trump's flirtation with ultranationalism, Senator McCain pens in a letter to America, We are citizens of the world's greatest republic, a nation of ideals, not blood and soil. Doug Christian, Washington.